Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel of Get Into Course. So today in this video, we're going to talk about how to add a download countdown timer in a WordPress website. Now, if you've seen many websites putting a timer before a download button appears, which means they're waiting, they're making the people wait for 15 to 20 seconds, and then the download button, the actual download, what they're providing will appear so that they can, the visitors or the traffic who is coming to their blog can download something from it. Now, there are two main reasons why people do it, why they keep a timer like 15 seconds 20 seconds then why they make people wait well to be honest there's two main reasons one is an SEO part of it another one is an AdSense revenue now why SEO because in Google side if anyone is coming to my blog and if I keep any PDF or ebook let's imagine I keep uh, ebook or uh, important ebook in my website for free so that people can come and download in my website so if anyone comes and comes into my blog, they just scroll down to the download button and download that ebook and just bounce away. So now I have no issue people coming and you know purchasing a downloading a book or anything what I'm uh, giving away for free because I have kept it for free. I want people or traffic to come and download my book or ebook or any course what I'm giving. But in the eye of Google, they will take it as very negative because someone is coming to my website and just bouncing away not even staying for 15 to 20 seconds which means the blog is not worth reading google will not understand that you're not uh, written a blog so that people can read you out giving something away for free but what google will think is that it's not a valuable blog people just came they just stayed for two seconds and pressed the button and they just bounced off so this is very negative in the high of google and it will affect the SEO of the website. It will rank down the position. What is it? If it's ranking for any particular keyword, it will uh, make the position down. So this is why many people, if they're giving something away for free, PDF, eBooks, courses, whatever it is, they'll keep a timer of 15 or 20 seconds so that if anyone is coming to their blog, let them wait 15 seconds. They will, they will surely wait for 15 seconds to get that important file what they want. So this is why many people recommend and uh, even I recommend if you are new to a blogging career you keep a timer if you are giving something away for free. And the next and very important part is to increase the ad revenue. We all monetize our website in some way or the other. Like if you are using AdSense for monetizing it will increase the ad impression exponentially and it even increases the chance of getting clicked. When there is a 15 to 10 second timer people will surely click most of the time. So this is why two main reasons people use timer and it's overall benefit the website so before getting into the topic if you're new to my channel do subscribe and ring that bell and so that when i come up with a new video i'll make sure i send a notification so how to keep a timer in a wordpress so there's a blog i have written how to keep a timer now all you got to do is click the link in the description and it'll come to my website the first thing we need to do is we need to get a code we need to add a code in our WordPress dashboard. And we need to lay a foundation in our uh, WordPress website so that whenever we write a new blog, we just have to put one code in our blog post and the timer will run up. So for that, we need to use this code for all our posts whenever we want to keep a timer. So even I kept a timer for this download button, of course, so that people can understand when they just come over here. It's for 10 seconds. I'll show you how it works. I refresh now we can see there's a 10 seconds of timer running it's the same timer you can use it to increase the ads in seven now I can keep an ad up and below the button I have not kept it so far so I'll do it in my future so just come over here and get code now click on it it will take to your Google Docs we need to copy this code we need to insert this code in our WordPress dashboard in our theme we need to insert it so just copy the entire code And let's head to our WordPress dashboard. In, the, in our WordPress dashboard, let's head over to appearance. And from the appearance, we need to click on theme editor. In the theme, we need to go to the section called theme footer, which is footer.php. This one, theme footer, footer.php. We need to place our code in footer.php. Just come all the way to down. Let's make a space in between. Before we need to place a code before the body tag. Before the closing of the body tag, you can see this is a closing of the body tag. 
just above the body tag paste the entire code and update the file and we are done with the foundation part of it we have we have laid the foundation and we have nothing to do with it here if you want you can change the timer here i have kept it as 10 seconds you can do it as a 20 second when you change here make sure you change here itself here also one second here there's a timer 20 make sure you change here as well as here the both you need to change you can even keep 30 seconds or 40 seconds but i recommend you keep 20 to 30 not more than that because people uh, won't love waiting for uh, like one minute to get the file so 20 to 30 is fine so just update the file after doing it you can keep any time you want any 10 15 20 it's up to you i'll keep it as 20 for example and after putting the code we need to add one plugin which is let's go to plugin and search for wordpress short codes just search search for short codes now we'll use this plugin to add a timer every time we write a blog post just click on the first plugin what you see is wordpress short codes after installing it do activate it so now we have done with the installing plugin we have done inserting the code in our theme now all we have to do is keep a timer so let's write a blog i will keep a timer for an image okay so let's see you can keep any file you want any text you want any course you want any pdf you want to give but i'll just for example i'll take one image an example so in order to get this image they have to wait at they have to wait for 10 seconds as a uh, 20 seconds and then after that they will reach the blog same thing if you want you can upload a pdf for uh, get the link of that pdf from the google drive or whatever you want then uh, keep a timer for that we are keeping a timer for a download button take the link of it and let's see you can write any text lorem ipsum uh, let me add some default text lorem ipsum this is the post i've written you can write you can do the actual one this is for the example i'm doing it so now let's keep a button for the button we need to act, uh, type short quotes click on short quotes and come to this bracket insert short quote. here you can see a button section so just click on button and paste the link over here for which you want wait one second i'll take this as an example and i'll take an image copy link address paste the link here for which you want to put a timer okay then the text will be here from the content get right now insert now after doing this we have put a timer we have put a button but we need to put a timer so just come to this area after the button just enter the space and type this code id is equal to download every time you insert a button you need to do this that's why we installed a short codes we need to add id is equal to download before the link before this url so that a timer can be applied now let me show you the preview how it works
now this is the post you can see there's a timer of 20 seconds running there he goes it's running right now so this is how you can keep a button if you want if you're keeping any download button if you're providing ebooks courses well i keep my well i keep courses in my website if you want to enroll in online udemy edonex any uh, platform courses for free you can check the link I'll, I'll give the link in the description you can enroll every courses for free there even the premium courses will be for free I'll give an, uh, give a uh, presets templates of photoshops and even free ebooks you can check the link in the description so after 10 seconds or 20 seconds of time you'll get this button so we need to just click on get file now and I'll be redirected to the image for which I have kept a timer which is a football images of course you can keep it for anything you want now this is the link which I kept you can keep it for anything you want so this is how you keep a timer in WordPress